So for, for those of us who can't only rely on that form of, of growth, uh, Zach Rifkin, who's a Bachelor of Science uh, 2014 um, in math, asked, how do you encourage young mentees to take big bets on big edges? And how should this be taught at Caltech? Well, if you ask, how could Caltech teach people how to win chess tournaments or poker tournaments? You would find that some people at Caltech are very good at that and others aren't. And if you want to win at those things, you better bet on the people that are really very good at it. And not everybody is. I don't think Caltech can make great investors out of most people. I think great investors to some extent are like great chess players. They're, they're almost born to be investors. And that's because of the tolerance for risk? Is it the patience? What are the partly, traits of a great partly, investor? Yeah, obviously, you have to know a lot. But partly it's temperament. Partly it's deferred gratification. You've got to be willing to wait. And it's a weird... Good investing requires a weird combination of patience and aggression. And not many people have it. It also has to, it requires a big amount of self-awareness and how much you know and how much you don't know. You have to know the edge of your own competency. And a lot of brilliant people are no good at knowing the edge of their own competency. They think they're way smarter than they are. And of course, that, that's dangerous and causes trouble. So I, I think Caltech would have a hard time teaching everybody to be a great investor. But could it help people discover that they have that temperament? Or is this something that you mostly should try on your own? I think you find out whether you've got the qualities to win at poker by playing poker. That's a very empirical approach, Charlie. Yes, but I think it's right. So uh, obviously it helps to know the basic math of Fermat and Pascal. And, but everybody with any sense knows that stuff. But, but having the temperament where Fermat and Pascal are as much part of you as your ear and nose, that's a different kind of a person. And I think it's hard to teach that. I have found, Warren and I have talked about this. In the early days, when we talked about our way of doing things, which is working so well. We found some people got it, and they instantly converted our way and did very well. And some people, no matter how carefully we explained it, and no matter how successful they were, they could never learn what, they could never adapt it. They either got it fast or they didn't get it at all. So that's my experience. <laughs> 